Yo guys, it's Footmaster here, back with another video and today I'm going to be doing my community team of the season predictions and I'm also going to be going through the latest leaks, all of the leaks, there's been tons of them. I'm going to be going through my explanation of how the community team of the season works as well if you don't understand already but if you are new make sure to hit the like, subscribe if you're new, if you enjoy. But yeah, let's get into the video. Alright, so firstly, as everyone knows, the team of the season date did get leaked earlier on last week to be the 23rd of April from Foot Invest leaks big up them for this but yeah they leak they would be on the 23rd and there'll be no promo this week which is correct so yeah we have seen that leaked but also earlier today by lots of sources but mostly footwatch the main one they've leaked all the nominees before they came out obviously in the voting later today they leaked it around afternoon mid-afternoon time and all the list of the nominees so this will probably affect my predictions some of the players won't be getting in but yeah, just keep in mind that I made these prediction cards a few days ago, so that's why. But they've leaked all the nominees there. And they also leaked the card design before it officially got confirmed by this new loading screen we got at 6pm. And they also leaked the format of how the voting would work, which I did. And here's my vote right here. I voted on players who did deserve it, but I also balanced it out with people that I wanted to see get overpowered cards. So yeah, that's why some players who didn't deserve it are in here as well. Before we do get into these predictions, these were the rules I set for myself from FIFA 17 rules for the community team of the season. I put cards that only cards I've put in are players who haven't got specials. So none of the players in this video have special cards already. But I don't, that's probably not going to happen this year. And the 24 player rule I didn't include, I've only done 19 players. But yeah, let's get into the video. And also the main point of the actual community team of the season, it's in the name, it's the community. So they put out a vote as they've done today. And the players with the most votes are meant to get a team of the season card so that's why it's community team of the season so the reason why i've left out a lot of key players from main leagues who obviously really deserve it is because they're going to be saved for the main league team of the season group so like prem team of the season Serie A team of the season etc big up this card designer by the way who made this team of the season card obviously i made these before the actual card design got confirmed by ea but yeah let's get into the actual predictions all right guys so first of all i've picked three keepers so i've basically gone with a three five three formation think of it like that with the players but for three keepers i've obviously gone one for starter and two for the bench and for the main keeper i've gone test stegen now this guy's been very good this season for barcelona i know he hasn't been amazing like the champions league wise he hasn't been great but as a season like he hasn't even got a special card which is very surprising i think he deserved at least one inform so yeah the, as my rule goes people without special cards have to be in here and yeah he doesn't so i reckon he's quite likely to be in this community team of the season i haven't looked through the full leaked list and the full nominee list so he might not get in because i don't know if he's in that list but if he is then he has got a higher chance of getting in my second keeper i picked was marsh stein i think that's how you say his name correct me if i'm wrong but he's been very solid in the liga nos i checked his match ratings for porto and he's been very solid and in the champions league he was very good for them like he kept them in some games so that's why he deserves it and my final keeper was eduard mendy now i don't think this guy's in the nominee list so unfortunately he won't get one correct me if i'm wrong on that but yeah he definitely deserved it i don't know why he's not on there because he's been outstanding for chelsea he's been one of their best players he's kept him in so many games he's got tons of clean sheets as well he's got one of the most in the prem i'm not going to bring stats too much into it because it gets quite boring after a while but yeah he 100 percent deserved to be in all right guys so for the first of five defenders i've picked scrinia now this guy's card would be insane as the keepers go i didn't explain too much about that cards because no one really cares about keepers the keepers a keeper but scrinia would be insane he'd be very end game like i know his pace isn't the craziest but 85 pace is a massive boost from his previous card and yeah this card would be so sick he does deserve it as well he's been very solid for inter milan this season and yeah this card would just be mental like i kind of hope he gets one but i'm not sure if he's on the list or not my second pick was kurt zuma who is on the list and i voted for him so this guy's probably defo going to be in the team of the season and i can't wait for this card because he's french he gets tons of links and he's in the prem as well so he gets so many links and he's got a very good card it looks like like i've boosted his pace a lot and i hope he has above 80 pace he should do and with a very high physical and defending stats he'd be very good in game so yeah i reckon this guy will probably get in and it's a very good prediction that i made a few days ago my final starting center back would be Paul torres now i don't know if this guy's on the list of course but i put him in my prediction because he's been very solid for villarreal this season in the europa league i've watched him sometimes he's been very good there 
but I'm not sure about the actual La Liga season. I haven't watched him that much there, but I think he's been decent. So, yeah, it would be a very decent centre-back. Of course, Spanish links are always nice to have in a La Liga squad. But, yeah, the card would actually be decent as well. 80 pace. It wouldn't be the craziest card, let's be real. But, yeah, he'd be a very solid centre-back and he'd fit into a lot of people's teams. And, yeah, he kind of deserves it for his performances in the Europa League. Now, the first centre-back I just picked because of how overpowered his gold card was, I picked Clinton Matter. Now, if this guy got in team of the season, I'm not sure if he's on the shortlist for the community team of the season nominees. But you have to realise, guys, some of these players who aren't going to be in the community might be in their main league one. So, I really hope Clinton Matter gets a team of the season because this card will be just be so good. Like, I know his nation isn't great for link-wise, but the card itself would be absolutely ridiculous like he'd have very good stats like all over the board like he'd have decent shooting as well very high dribbling and passing for a center back incredibly good pace obviously and very good defending and physical so i hope this guy gets some sort of special card hopefully team of the season and this card would be so broken like i'd have to try and fit this guy on my team if he came out because i'd need to link him in if he got this kind of a card but i'm not too sure if he deserves it i didn't watch the pro league i don't watch it so yeah let me know if he deserves it my next pick for the bench centre-back would have been Mbemba. Now, this guy has been very good for Porto as well. I've seen him paired up with Pepe this season in the Champions League. They've been so solid. They were so good against Juventus, those two, as a pair. So, yeah, this guy 100% deserves it from my point of view. And the card would be decent as well. It's like a centre-back, again, with 80-plus pace. Very good defending physical. Decent dribbling as well on the ball. He'd be very good. Links-wise, he wouldn't be great. Like, there's not many Congo players in this game. So, it would be quite hard. Apart from him and the Pepe, what if strong link? That would be very nice. But, yeah, it'd be a very decent card, obviously. Very solid centre-back. But links-wise, I'm not too sure. All right, so my final defender in the community team of the season predictions is Aaron Cresswell. Now, I'm not sure if this guy's on the shortlist, guys. Sorry, I didn't read the whole shortlist. So, I just skimmed it so i'm not 100 percent sure if he's on there but if he is then he has a very good chance of getting him because somehow this guy has not got a special card this fifa as my rule said i've made the rule that they can't have special cards i'm following the fifa 17 rules but yeah i don't know how this guy hasn't got a special like he's been so good for west ham he's been one of their best players all season and yeah with an upgrade i've given him a plus 13 from his 77 it would be such a sick left back card like i haven't saved him for the prem team of the season because i think luke Shaw will get that so he's kind of in the shadow of him a bit but as a left back this guy would be so sick and yeah i hope he gets some sort of team of the season card all right guys so moving on to my first midfield pick i've picked marino now i know for a fact this guy got in the team of the season not nominee list which is very sick prediction by me so i hope he gets one because this guy would be sick like he wouldn't be the craziest card let's be real but like the card all round as a center mid very good balanced uh, box to box center mid card like he's got very good stats in all areas to be honest very good defending shooting all around the board so it's very nice i'm not sure if his skill moves and weak for oh, i'm not sure if they're decent but yeah, it'd be a very decent midfielder card. Good links as well. So, yeah, it'd be a very solid midfielder card. And I think he deserves it. Because he's been in a lot of talk about best midfielders in La Liga this season. Next midfielder, I've picked Brozovic. Now, I know for a fact this guy's been sick for Atlanta. Like, I've watched him a bit. And I've seen his stats and match ratings in Serie A as well. And he's been very solid for them. He's held the midfield well for them. And, yeah, with a, bad, with a card, a 93 rated I've given him, he'd be a sick CDM, like, with 85 pace and very high dribbling as well. He'd be such a solid midfielder. He'd be very good, like, all-rounded as well. But I, he'd probably be best suited for a CDM because of his height and stuff. But yeah, he does deserve a card as well. So, yeah, it'd be a nice card to be in. But I'm not sure if he's on the list. All right, guys. So, for Cam, I've picked Munwain. Now, I know this isn't probably in order anymore like about the starting 11 stuff I said. But I think this guy does deserve a card. I haven't watched him closely. But I've seen, like, his performance ratings. And they've been very solid all across the board. I have no idea how this guy doesn't have at least one in form by now because I've seen him play some very good football. I'm not sure if he got injured. I think he might have. But yeah, as a cam, this card would be so crap. Like with his really high pace and dribbling, he'd be very solid. It wouldn't be the craziest card like some cards we've already seen on these predictions. But yeah, he'd be a very good cam. 
and I know when he's released he'll probably be very overpriced if he got one I'm not sure if he's on the list I don't think he is but if he got a card he'd be very overpriced when he comes out but he dropped down a lot so I don't think he'd be one of the most looked out for cards so yeah it'd be a pretty sick one to get in for CDM choice I picked Declan Rice now this guy's been so good for West Ham this season I've watched him very closely and he's been so sick he's fitted his way into the England squad as well very deservedly so as well and yeah this guy's card wouldn't be the craziest thing I'm not gonna lie like I've only given him an 87 because he's got a 79 rated card but with a boost to his pace he'd be a decent one I don't think he'd be the most exciting card like I don't think many people would put him in their team because there's gonna be so many better cards in the prem team of the season than this guy but yeah he looks like a very decent cdm another cdm i've picked is locatelli now i've seen this guy's performance ratings for syria and he's been so sick in for sasalu this season but yeah as a card it wouldn't be that great i'm not gonna lie like looking at the pace i've given him even as a massive upgrade from his goal they wouldn't be that great it'd be like low 70s which isn't ideal for this stage of the game but yeah it'd be a decent card nonetheless a deserved card but i'm not sure if anyone would want him and i'm not sure if he's in the voting either moving on to a right mid pick i've gone for rafa now i really hope this guy gets some sort of team in the season card because last year he had one of the most cracked cards i've ever seen he had end game 99 pace he had very good dribbling decent shooting as well so yeah as a right mid he'd be very sick link ability wise i'm not sure he'd probably have to get some more team in the seasons to link but yeah he'd be such a sick card and i think he deserves it because i've seen his performance ratings and he's been very solid for Benfica. As a right winger, I've gone for Bergwies. Now, I have no idea how this guy doesn't have a special light. He's been robbed of a team of the week like two, three times this year. But yeah, they might have been saving him for team of the season. I'm not sure if he got in the voting. I can't remember, guys. Sorry, but if he didn't, then I'll be very surprised. He should get a team of the season still for Eri Davis. But yeah, he's been very good for Feyenoord. I've seen his performance ratings for them, and he's been so sick. As I said, he's been robbed a few specials, but yeah, as a right wing, he'd be very good. Like, he wouldn't be the craziest. 90 pace is very good. Good shooting and dribbling as well, so he'd be quite solid. Good links as well with crap area of his cards out there, but yeah, I'm not sure if he's in the votes. Moving on to the final three players, and they're all strikers. And the first one I predicted before his vote got in, it's going to be Mikel Antonio. Now, I knew this guy would get one because he hasn't got a special card this year somehow. And yeah, loads of people are voting for him, including me, because his card would be so sick. Like, he'd have very high pace, very high physical as well, and decent shooting and dribbling. So, in game, this guy would be very good as a striker. He'd bully defenders, and I think he definitely deserves it i don't know how he hasn't got a special card like at the beginning of the season he was on mad form for west ham he scored a lot of goals as well i think he's cooled down a bit but yeah he's been very good for west ham this season so yeah i'd love to see this card come out my final two strikers are picks that i've just based on performance ratings not gone too much research into these but first one's going to be santi mina now i'm not sure about statistic wise but i think he's been very good for celso vigo I'm not too sure, but I don't know if he's in the votes. I'm not sure. But yeah, if he got a card, it wouldn't be the greatest card, let's be real, but it'd be decent. Like, Spanish links are very good. He'd link in very nicely, but I'm not sure if he'd be that hyped up. The final player in my predictions is going to be Simi Nawakano. I think that's how you say his name. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this guy probably won't get in the community team of the season. He should definitely be in the Serie A one, though, because this guy's been one of the top scorers in Serie A for the club that's been one of the worst in the league which is insane his team's getting relegated i think but he has carried them so much he's got so many goals he's so sick for them so i think he definitely deserves the team of the season i'm not sure if he's on the community votes i don't think he is but he, i definitely expect to, to see him in the syria team of the season the card as a whole isn't great let's be real very good physical but that's about it with this card but yeah he 100 percent deserves it Alright guys, it's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, smash the like, subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below who you want to see in the community team of the season. I will be streaming on Sunday for a Draft the Glory episode as well. And I will be uploading more and more videos consistently. So if you like FIFA content, this is where you want to be. But yeah, peace.